and welcome to the part 2 of this video series on designing a simple Power BI report using Oracle Database as data source. In today's video, we are going to learn how to add a header, format data, format background, add interactive filters, and modify a data set. Let's take the report we used in uh, part 1 of this video series. We designed a report named test report. So now we are going to add a header to this report. To add a header, you need to select the text box here. If you see here, this text box, we'll just put it here. You can click it and it will come here. And you can put the desired text in the text box. Here we'll put the report name as test report. We'll center align it and we'll increase the size to say 20 or something. You need to select the text to increase its font size. Drag it to the middle. So when it is exactly aligned in the middle, the red dotted line will uh, appear there. You leave it there. Now say we want to change the color of this text. We can change it here. Click on this letter A and you can choose any colors displayed here or if you don't like these colors or want to select something else then you can click on the custom color. Say we want this report name and the header to be in say red. We select red color there and the test report this header changes to the red color. Now say we want to change the background of this entire report. We click here. Here we see this small paintbrush, the roller icon. We click there and it gives the formatting properties here for this entire uh, report. You go to paste background. Say we want uh, a black color. And now, click here. We decrease the transparency to zero. zero. And now, the color, the background of the entire page has turned into black. Now suppose this background in the header of the report is not matching with the background of the entire report. So how will we are going to match it? So we'll simply change the transparency of this header here. So again, we select this. We increase the transparency to 100%. So it is this box is completely transparent now. And now we are able to see through the text box here. Now we want to change the formatting of these number values here. You see this is simply the count of different types of uh, objects in the database. And we really don't need a decimal place there because these are like whole numbers. So to change it, you click here in this uh, table and go to format option again. And there you will see uh, different properties of this table. So our uh, the property that we are interested in field formatting because we want to change the format of this field. 
So you go to fill formatting and you will get the option for changing the format of different fields there. For example, object type here is it is fine here. It's a text column and we want to change the formatting format of this uh, count column. So we'll select the count there and you will see different options there to change its format and value of decimal places you put instead of zero uh, instead of auto you put zero there and then you see here the format has changed now these are like whole numbers there is no decimal places now suppose you want to change the background of this table similar to this text box so that uh, the color is uniform across the report we'll select this again select this one it's already selected you go to background let's uh, collapse it and click on background and then you change this color to something similar to the report background or you have another option to increase the transparency so that whatever color is there behind this box that will be visible now you see it is having a little black background it's coming from the entire report background here because it's this part of the box is transparent now this is not what we want actually and we want all these things all these uh, fields and values to have a black background so here Again, we click this table, go to format, fill formatting, say for object type, you do the same thing, click black, no, sorry, I changed the font color, so font color will be something different, we want the background to be black, and the font color is white, now similar thing here also, for count we'll see we'll set the font color to white which is already there and the background color to black and the font color to white now you see the difference here now similarly for these headers we can do the same thing we just need to select the right property here so you go to column headers and here again we font color will set to white and the background color to black so same thing happen now there is a total field say we want the total to be little different than the other uh, part of this field i mean uh, the table so we'll go there Total, and there is also one option to turn it off or on so if you turn it off there will be no total if you turn it on the totals will be there now suppose we want the total to be in red color and we select red here and it's coming as red now let's format this uh, graphical part say uh, this heading of the chart uh, is not what we want here we want to make it to something different now go click ahead uh, go there and click it format title change it to the object type object type chart and you want it to display in the middle in the center you click here it comes to the center and similarly we want to put a background uh, as black here and we select that particular property background color black and everything is black now there are different uh, text appearing here 
some of them are the labels of this chart and some are like legends and accordingly you have to change it so that the numbers uh, and the text written here are visible to the people visible to the reader now go ahead and select again the chart visual and click on the details and data colors so data colors represents these colors here uh, go to detail tab put the color to white so all the labels are now white there now we have to change the legend for legend click here and the legend name is optional here you can if you delete it here this object type will go out we'll leave it there again we'll select white color here and the legend is now now it is visible and now suppose we want this legend to be uh, in a bigger font size how can we do that simply selecting a bigger size in, in the text size here say we make it 15 so this is how we change the formats of different objects here and let's uh, change the format of this chart title also this is in the center font color will be white and say we want a different font style here let's say see go a bold and the size will be say 16 huh? our report is done now suppose we want to modify the query that is extracting the data and displaying here uh, say we want one more column here uh, which is say the object owner how we can get that by modifying the query that is extracting so to modify that go to this right hand side this query one and there are three dots here click there you will get a list select edit query this will bring up another window where you will be able to modify the query and here is the query here which is selecting the data for us so we'll modify it we'll put we'll put owner here and also you have to change the group by option Now, once you are done with the editing, click edit permission. It will run the query again. And now the owner column is also visible. Once it is done, you save the changes, click save, apply, then To apply the changes and take a few moments and it's done I'll close this window now we just need to display that extra column that we just added select this and this owner column is visible here now we'll drag it and drop it here
Now, how we change the order of the columns being displayed here? We want this owner column to go to the first place, then the object type, then the count. To do that, we have the options here. Below the visualizations, we select the owner, drag it to the top. And you see, now, now the owner, col owner column is at the beginning of this table. Now all we need to do is to change the formatting properties here so that it is similar to the other columns in this table. Go to this formatting option. Go to fill formatting. Owner font color is white anyway. Background color will be black. Now it is similar to the others. Now let's make a little room here so that we can add some filters there. Suppose the requirement is something like that. You want to see the objects owned by different owners uh, based on your selection. Suppose you don't want to see uh, certain users and you are interested in particular users uh, and want to see what are the objects owned by them. In that case, you have to uh, create a filter box here. To add a filter, we'll click this slicer under this visualizations. We click that slicer and the slicer is available. And here we just want one column, which will be our filter. And here the owner filter is available. Now, suppose we also want to uh, change the background. We'll follow similar method as earlier. Now, how the filter works here? Say uh, you select any of these, the say Apex 0500000. When you selected this particular owner, the data being displayed here is belonging to only that particular user. These objects belong to only this Apex 0500000 user. And similarly, the graphical representation of the data has also changed. And similarly, if we go to another one, say DVS and MP, you see the selection has also changed and the data also changed accordingly. Suppose you want to select multiple users. All you need to do is to click that first user, then press the control button and select subsequent users. That way, whatever you are able to see here, these objects belong to these four users.